Hey everyone and welcome back. Today we are breaking down a tool that every developer needs to understand, Git. If version control feels like a mystery to you, don't worry. In the next few minutes, you will finally understand how Git works clearly, visually and step by step. So what exactly is Git? Git is a version control system and that means it helps you track changes to your code over time. Think of it like a time machine for your project. You can go back to previous versions, compare changes or even create multiple versions of your code using branches. But Git isn't just storing your files like a backup tool. It's keeping track of the differences. What changed, who changed it and when. And the best part is it works right on your computer. So you can use it offline, locally and independently. Git is used by developers all over the world in open source projects, startups and even giant companies like Google and Microsoft. Now let's walk through how Git actually works using a simple step-by-step -step diagram. We'll start on the left with your working directory. This is where your project lives. It's just a normal folder on your computer. When you create or edit a file, it starts off as untracked. That means Git knows the file exists, but it's not keeping tabs on it yet. To tell Git, hey, I want to track this, you use the command git add. This moves the file from the working directory to the staging area. The staging area is like a prep zone. It holds all the changes you want to save in your next snapshot. Once your changes are ready, you commit them. To do this, you type git commit. This saves the changes to the committed files area, also called your local repository. Think of this as your personal history of changes. So far, everything is still on your computer. Now let's say you want to share your changes with your team or back them up online. You use the command git push. This takes your committed changes and sends them to the remote repository, which is usually hosted on GitHub, GitLab or something similar. The remote repo is a shared version of your project. Everyone on your team can pull from it and push to it. To bring down changes made by others, you can use git fetch which downloads changes but doesn't apply them yet. Or you can use git pull which fetches and then automatically updates your local files. That's how you keep your project in sync with the rest of your team. Sometimes you want to go back to a previous version of your code or switch to a different branch. To do that, you use the command git checkout. This lets you move between different versions of your project. If you've been working in a feature branch and want to bring those changes into your main project, you can use git merge. This combines the changes from one branch into another and git takes care of the rest. If the same file was changed in both places, git will ask you to resolve any conflicts before finishing the merge. These tools, checkout and merge, are what make git so powerful for managing multiple versions and working with teams. Let's do a quick recap. Your journey starts in the working directory where you make changes. Then you stage them with git add and save them permanently with git commit. To share your work, you use git push to send it to a remote repo and git pull or git fetch to stay updated with your team. You can switch versions using git checkout and combine work with git merge. That's the core git workflow. Simple, powerful and incredibly useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.